Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got a little bit of a different intro for you because, well, it'll have to do with a surprise at the end of the video. But either way, in this video, we've got the Lim 5P. This is a brand new jet with the German Air Tech Tree. This is basically a Polish MiG-17 with afterburner, and it is a very very nice also if you've noticed this skin this is not a game skin this is a user skin and um it is by the content creator sabro so if uh if you'd like i'll try to link that in the comments or the description below and uh if you would like this skin i would highly recommend it because it looks very very nice good job on that skin sabro anyways there's a, been a lot of hubbub about this plane over the last few eh, weeks let's say because a lot of people say this is pretty much a really really good version of a mig-17 <clears throat> and <clears throat> man whoo and while i am inclined to say that i'm not sure how much better it is a really really good mig-17 though and it can pretty much lay down with the best of them so this is about this well not even about the same br this is the same br as the, uh, some people like it, some people hate it, the MiG-7, or the um, F-86K, the uh, Sabre Dog, and it doesn't have missiles, whereas the Sabre Dog, of course, does. Should I go for him? Oh, he's going for me. That is a Christmas gift and a half. <clears throat> okay, let's see. So this doesn't have missiles. This is a pure gunfighter, and... Uh, yeah, that thing is out turning. He is just lining me up for these shots, man. But I am not making them. What is this fella doing? What was he doing? I mean, I missed a lot of those shots, mind you. But man. Huh. That was odd. Oh, I got an F-86 behind me. Uh, it's an F-25, not the best of them. Hopefully I can just outrun it. I think I can. The afterburner on this thing is really nice. That F-9F is a fairly chunky plane, so I should hopefully be able to get him. I'm hoping. <clears throat> oh, I didn't even realize that F-86 uh, down there. But I'm going to try to go for this F-9F over here. Hopefully if I can get him, that's a two-kill match. Nope, not going to. This thing compresses a little hard. Not the worst, but it's also not the best. Uh, probably going to go down for this F-86. Now, one thing is, if you're in a down tier like what it appears as though I'm in, uh, you can outdive a lot of enemies, which is nice. That is a very nice trait of this plane. Man, I am being followed. I cannot... Whew! These are some stiff controls, but not all too bad. Of course, the roll rate on this bad boy is not really good. Uh, might go for this F-86F up here. Yeah, he's coming for me. Okay, I got six shells left. This is... Got to get more used to this plane here. Pretty much just going to expend my next shells on whatever plane is over here. Those sabers are not going to catch me, most likely. Uh, most likely. I'm not really 100% on that. Let's try to get my six shells off. Oh, I got a critical hit! Oh, baby! That's, that is sniping right there, guys. Hopefully that knocks him out, but I think it only damaged the wing slightly. Not too big of a deal. Anyways... Uh, I'm gonna go back to base. I'm assuming that this match is over. It is... I mean, thus far, this is a pretty impressive plane. My results have not been great. My first match uh, earlier, I had two kills with this thing. As opposed to just the one here. And it appears as though I might be knocked out of the sky by this F-86, F-25. I certainly hope not. Typically, people wait till they're about three quarters of a uh, kilometer away before they start shooting. Yeah, he's gaining on me. Something fierce. I'm going to try to fly low. I might try to go slow. Yep, I'm going to have to. Come on. <clears throat> this thing has a rudder and a half, man. 
Okay, good. He's gone way up. Hopefully that will allow me some time to get out of here. But either way, I'm going to get back to the base here. Try to land and reload. I might get back into... I might just go into another match. Uh, assuming that this match is pretty much over. I'm not sure. I do not like the way that this is going. Um, what I mean by that is I do not like the fact... Oh, man. If only I had my cannons. This would be such an easy shot. Uh, okay, I'm going to try to do the, the right thing here. Got him off. Okay, I'm now taking fire. That's what happens when you're a good buddy, guy. Oh, man. Well, I sacrificed myself for that. Keep that in mind, War Thunder YouTube. Keep that in mind. Anyways, let's get into the next match. And uh, hopefully we can do something in that because I am gone. So I'm not really sure if I mentioned it, but when it comes to the Limb 5P, it feels very similar in terms of performance. Uh, to the F-86 Saber Dog. And it's a... It's good, you know? I mean, both planes are very good, but, like... Actually, yeah, now I remember. I did mention that. And I basically said, but you're trading off pretty much what's a better missile fighter in the Saber Dog. And I use the term missile fighter very loosely uh, for a much better gunfighter in the Limb 5P. And I love the fact that this, instead of having uh, two... 23 millimeter cannons and one 37 millimeter cannon. This has three 30 or 23 millimeter cannons, which gives you 300 rounds of ammo. So you actually have a, in my opinion, that that creates better firepower um, overall. <clears throat> so let's go try to get this A5 or A8 right here. Okay, not too bad. He uh, kind of lined himself up for that. Okay, I got someone over here, Charlie, Charlie Wango Tango. Oh, that's a J-7-2. Is he coming down? He might be. He was. Okay, he doesn't want to get away from the safety of the clouds. Understandable. Okay. Hey. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, there's a little bit of a secret. It's not like a huge secret at the end of this video. But I'll see if I can do it. I'd like to get at least two kills. I'll try to get two kills per match. Uh, that I record for my gameplay, and I've got a ton of gameplay coming up over the next few days. I mean, a ton. Oh, man, that guy just scared the be bejupers out of me. Um, I'm going to go for this ABA day. He doesn't look like he's moving much. Okay, got a nice crit on him. Elevator hit. That's a good one. It's probably about as good of a crit as I'm going to get. Come back down, and I do have this ace crewed. Bear that in mind. Is someone on me? Woo. Ugly, ugly, ugly shots. Okay, I got an A4E uh, early on me. Not typically all too bad of a, uh, of a plane to dogfight. Oh, wow, I've got no fuel left. I don't know what I was thinking there. Hopefully this early does not have missiles. Okay, he's backing off. He's backing off. I'm going for this one. Got a hit. Okay, I'm going to pretty much have to black out try to hit this guy. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Three kill match. Three kill match. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Now I'm going to try to go for my fourth kill. Ah, I fudged up. I was a little bit too conservative there. Anyways, let's get into one more match. See what we could do. Not too bad thus far. I am liking the Lim 5P, and this is a really, really nice plane. Like I said, it's pretty much a MiG-17. Slightly heavier, but with the afterburner, and that is a big, big deal breaker, which makes it, in my opinion, better than the MiG-17, even if it is slightly worse of a turner. Okay, so we have ourselves a lot of planes over here. Uh, I kind of feel like I should probably go for this G91 first. He doesn't appear to be paying too much attention, but that could be me. Um, oh, yeah, no, he might not be. No, he, he definitely is. He knows I'm here. Got him. Nice. Okay. It's one kill. Now we have an A5 there. I should be able to outpace him pretty easily 
my main concern here is now that that other F-86 coming over. He'll have a much more favorable angle on me. Um, hopefully not. Oh, that's an... Okay, good. It's not the Japanese one. He doesn't have any uh, sort of missiles. Um, kind of want to go for this guy. Compressing pretty bad. But I may be able to get a kill if I sneak up on him. And I am sneaking up on him a little. Okay, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Got a few nice hits. Got a nice hit. He's going down. Not too bad. I only have 100 shots left. But a two-kill game. Not too bad. Like I said, I typically like to do three matches. Uh, the first one, I got like one kill and assist. Second one, I got three kills. This one, I've gotten two thus far. Two tends to be my minimum. Unless, of course, there's decent enough commentary uh, or gameplay even in the one kill matches. Uh, so that's why I kind of decided to keep that one in. But, of course, we still have some match left here. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, he's chasing him. I'm going to chase him. Oh, okay. I got a third kill, hopefully. Man, that's what I hate. Okay, good. I got a third kill. Anyways, that being said, this is a really, really nice plane. I'm going to take it back to the menu real quick to, to reveal the surprise. But either way, um, you know, certainly let me know what you guys think about this commentary, about this sort of gameplay style. Because I've got probably around 10 of these videos coming out over the next few weeks. Um, I'm not going to convert to a gameplay channel, mind you, but I do plan on, in the future, having some more intermittent uh, gameplay releases, if I have the time, uh, because, especially when it comes to air matches, because I like air matches way more. But, um, yeah, anyways, let's go back to the menu and I'll reveal the surprise. Okay, now this isn't too much of a surprise, but, you know, I figured I may as well do it. If you haven't noticed, the SAT card is showing... I don't really have too much research on this thing. That's kind of the surprise here. I have not really researched anything. In fact, actually, with the exception of... I think it might have been my first and second match, I didn't have a compressor, <laughs> you know? And so, I don't even have an airframe. It's literally only the compressor that I had in that last match, uh, insofar as unlocked t uh, skill things are concerned, or modifications are concerned. So this entire thing was pretty much done stock. Having just a compressor is not going to affect too much. Of course, if I had every single performance modification, that will impact gameplay pretty substantially. Compressor, a little bit, but not all too much. And uh, so, that being said, yes, this plane can do work even stock. It is a great plane. I would not be surprised if they move it to 9.3 BR. Um, it, it really makes no sense to me that you can have a plane like the... Uh, CL-13A Mark V at 9.3 and the Limp 5P at 9.0. It just doesn't really make too much sense to me. You know, we'll see wherever Gaijin goes with this. This is a bit of a stiff plane, especially when it gets to higher uh, speeds. The compression issues are not entirely solved with it, and it has an afterburner, so you will be pushing towards those speeds more often. But, um, you know, again, I was able to get two three-kill matches a single kill and an assist match and before i even started recording this i think i had like a two kill and an assist match as well so i've hardly played any matches on this thing like what five matches on that if you could look by how many free repairs i've had i've only played five matches in this thing and i probably already have about a half dozen kills or, or whatever the case may be but either way thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe tell me what you guys think about this sort of Game, uh, gameplay commentary in the comments below. I'm really interested to, to see what your opinion is, if I should make more of these videos. Again, I've got a deluge of them coming out by the end of the month, uh, so you're going to be seeing a lot of them, and this and then, as those gameplay videos come out, that will be your time to tell me what you guys think about it, and I am not becoming a gameplay channel exclusively. Again, I am just adding some of these gameplay videos in, because, of course, I don't really feel like a Limp 5P is necessarily worth making a review for, but if I can give my uh, my thoughts and, and feelings on these planes as I'm playing them, and you can just see more or less unedited gameplay, that is in many ways almost as good as a review. So I feel like that is actually a very useful thing regardless, and can help see uh, can help a lot of people not only see if this plane is worth it for them or not, which I totally feel the Limb 5P is worth it, 
but it can also show you, hey, man, like maybe this is a really good way to fly, fly the plane. There's some good tactics, this, that, or the other thing. Not that I'm a god king at War Thunder, but of course, you know, having a three kill match or two three kill matches when you're pretty much bone stock, that's not at nothing. You know, I almost had a four kill match before. So either way, thank you so much. And uh, well, either way, again, if I haven't mentioned before, please like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the dealio, and I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.